Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about Red Line Stealer. This malware is a flagship for the entire stealer malware industry, which attacks hundreds of victims every day. It appeared in early 2020, though the first notable spike of its activity happened only at the end of that year. However, it is nothing compared to the current state of things, as it has become a recognized leader. Red line routes are traced to Russia, similarly to the vast majority of other leaders in the stealer and spyware market. It is generally promoted via Telegram channels with a price tag of $800 for the lifetime license. Some channels, however, say about the license for $4,000, and no one can say for sure which one is real. Though I have seen the early promo posts on Darknet forums, and it's a pity I have no screenshots left of it. Many channels have spread into the target system may look typical, but hackers appear to be pretty inventive. Instead of what we typically know as email spam and social media phishing, they use a more convincing approach by putting to use compromised business accounts. For instance, one of the more successful campaigns of Redline spreading in 2022 was using a hacked Facebook account of Brazilian internet service provider VIU Internet. Fraudsters posted a paid ad from the name of ISP's Facebook account with an offer to use Adobe Acrobat Reader for free, which is already available for free, but it wasn't so clear for unaware users. And the ad, as you can see, contained a downloading link to a packed Redline sample. This, however, is not the only way the red line is spread through. There are facts of cooperation between this malware and dropper trends, specifically MAD. In such cases, a dropper acts more like a precursor that ensures the system is not a virtual machine or a debug environment. Then the main payload comes into play, and for the mentioned dropper family, it is not limited to only red line stealer. MAD is known for deploying stop ransomware, XM rig miner, and weather stealer as well as several other less active malware families. So yes, having a red line injected in such a way effectively means having an entire swarm of different malware or the potential of getting one in a while. One specific spreading method became popular in early 2023. Hackers found the way to push the links of fake software downloading pages to the Google search ads, which are always placed on top of search results. In other words, people who tried to Google say Blender, LibreOffice, OBS Studio or other freeware programs or even drivers to popular hardware were thrown to fake sites where they were deliberately downloaded malicious software. Fortunately, Google reacted to numerous complaints, but that was not fast enough because quite a lot of streamers and niche celebrities got their computers infected with stealers, including Redline. Though Redline itself is not a very pleasant scene either. Despite nominally being a stealer, it remains in the system until the corresponding command from the common server or until it is removed. Such behavior is more typical to spyware, but nowadays that's not a whole bunch of difference between spyware and stealers. Redline grabs data from web browsers starting from autofill forms and cookies and ended with cryptocurrency wallets data. It also targets desktop apps such as Telegram, Messenger, Discord and Steam by dumping the conversations or stealing session tokens. It also scrapes login information for popular VPN apps and FTP utilities. If the corresponding command is used, the malware is able to steal specific files from the device, depending on their format and name. Well, all this sounds frankly depressing, but fortunately anti-malware programs can detect and deal with red line pretty effectively and quickly. You could particularly have seen the detection from Windows Defender, though this is not the most trustworthy malware removal tool. It can detect the threat, but may struggle to remove it simply because of design flaws or bugs. To ensure that your system is clean, use Brooding Soft Anti Malware. I tested the program against Redline specifically, and it works as you can see right now. For such a threat, I decided to run a full scan. Malware may leave traces deeply in the system files and it is better to check every corner of it to wipe the pass out. Full scan can take 5 to 10 minutes, so yeah, you should wait a bit. In my case, it appears that Emadi was the first malware in the chain and Redline with Widow Stealers arrived next. By clicking clean now, I launched the malware removal process. Let's give it a bit of time so it will finish the job. And now the system appears to be clean. Good luck and stay safe online.